Writing word problems for systems of equations. Once upon a time, a handsome math teacher was in a barnyard that was full of pigs and chickens. The handsome math teacher counted all of the heads of the pigs and chickens. The result was 30. The handsome math teacher also counted all of the feet of the pigs and chickens. The result was 84. How many pigs were there and how many chickens were there? So we're writing um, a system of equation word problem. We can use two variables. We just have to write two equations to be able to solve with two variables. So the first thing we're going to want to do is identify our two variables. And the two variables are the two things talked about most in the word problem. In this case, we have pigs and chickens we're talking about. So when we define our variables, we want to first let P be the number of pigs, and we'll let C be the number of chickens. Then we have to use these two variables and write two equations. So first I would start with the number of pigs plus the number of chickens was 30. The handsome math teacher counted all the heads of pigs and chickens and came up with 30. So that's an easy equation to write. We just have P plus C is 30. Number of pigs plus number of chickens equals 30. And then our next equation is what we would call a value equation, and it has to take into account that pigs and chickens have different numbers of feet. And we all remember from our childhood or our experiences with pigs and chickens that pigs have four feet and chickens have two feet. So we have to take into that into account when we write our equation. We want each number of pig to multiply by four because they have four feet, and we're going to want each C to multiply by two because each chicken has two feet. We put that together into an equation, and we have 4P plus 2C equals 84, so that each pig is multiplied by four for the number of feet. Each chicken or C is multiplied two for the number of feet, adding up to our total of 84 feet. Then, if you are ready to solve equations, we could solve this system of equation with elimination. We could take that top equation and just multiply by negative 2. We could get the c's to drop out. 4p plus a negative 2p is 2p. 84 plus negative 60 is 24. Divide both sides by 2. And p is 12. So we have 12 pigs. And we know that pigs plus chickens adds up to 30. So if p is 12 or pigs is 12, then chickens has to be 18. So we have 12 pigs and 18 chickens. Now, if you're not ready to solve system of equations yet, that's fine. We can ignore this slide on solving the word problem, but we can still practice setting these up and writing our equations. So we're going to do several more examples where we're not necessarily solving. We're just going to go through and set up and practice writing systems of equations. So let's look at a new example. So let's say we have tickets to a movie that costs $5 for adults and $3 for children. If tickets were bought for 50 people for a total of $196, how many adult tickets were sold and how many children tickets were sold? So the first thing we need to do is identify our two variables, and the two variables we're talking about throughout this problem are adult tickets and children tickets. So we can let A equal the number of adult tickets, and we can let C equal the number of children tickets. Now we have to pull two equations from this word problem. So they might not always be a counting and a value equation, but somewhere within this word problem, I need to be able to write two separate equations, um, and they have to include A and C. So what do we have first? I would start with if the tickets were bought for 50 people. So that's like the number of pigs plus the number of chickens added up to 30. We know that the total number of tickets has to add up to 50. So our adult tickets plus our children tickets has to add up to 50. So we get A plus C is 50. Then we have to take into account the value equation in this case that adult tickets are a different price than the children tickets. So adult tickets are $5, children tickets are $3. So this is very similar to the pigs having four feet, chickens having two feet. We could apply the same rule here that each adult ticket is gonna multiply by five, each children ticket is gonna multiply by three, and we're given a total of $196. So the value equation we're looking at is 5A plus 3C equals 196. All right, let's look at a new example. 
A health food store sells a mixture of raisins and roasted nuts. Raisins sell for three fifty a kilogram, and nuts sell for four dollars and seventy five cents per kilogram. How many kilograms of each should be mixed to make twenty kilograms of the snack worth four dollars a kilogram? All right, let's start with defining our two variables. We have raisins. We we'll use R for raisins, and we we'll use N for nuts. Then. The first equation I'm looking for is like the counting equation, and we have that the mix is 20 kilograms. So we know we're taking some amount of raisins, some amount of nuts, and they're adding up to exactly 20 kilograms. So we can come up with R plus N is 20. So the amounts, we're not sure how much are raisins and how much are nuts, but we know together they add up to 20. Then our second equation, we have to take into account the different prices. That is 350 for... Uh, the raisins and 475 for the nuts and we have a total of well and it didn't give us a total dollar amount but it did give us 20 kilograms at four dollars per kilogram so we're going to have to do a little multiplication here to figure out what the total is if we have 20 kilograms at four dollars a kilogram our total is eighty dollars so it's not always given as an exact dollar amount sometimes you have to do a little math to come up with that amount so the raisins is 3.5 times R, 4.75 times N, and then that total was unique on this one. We had to multiply to come up with an $80 total. All right, new example. Let's start with a company ordered new bookcases and filing cabinets, which arrived in two shipments. One shipment contained six bookcases and 11 filing cabinets and had an invoice for $956. A second shipment contained nine bookcases and five filing cabinets for $698. Find the price of the filing cabinets and bookcases. All right, we have these bookcases and filing cabinets over and over and over used throughout each sentence. So those are obviously our two variables. So we'll let B be bookcases and we'll let F be filing cabinets. This is a great example of not having a counting equation and a value equation because this looks like we have two kind of value equations. So, and each of our equations can come from each of these two shipments. So if we look at shipment one, one shipment contains six bookcases and 11 filing cabinets and it had an invoice of 956. That's everything I need for an equation right there. Six times the bookcases plus 11 times the filing cabinets equals 956. So easy equation, 6B plus 11F equals 956. And then my second equation can come from the second shipment, nine bookcases, nine bookcases, and five filing cabinets for 698. So I can do 9B plus 5F equals 698. Then I can solve. So from the word problem, I need to come up with two equations using two variables. All right, let's do one last example here. We have Maria works overtime. She's paid time and a half for all hours over 40. This past week, she worked 44 hours and made $552. Two weeks ago, she worked for 50 hours and made $660. Find her regular, regular hourly rate. So, um, as with most jobs, they'll pay you a salary for the first 40 hours, and then any time over that, they'll pay you a higher rate normally like a time and a half. They'll pay you hourly rate plus a certain amount. So we know that she has two different rates going on here. So one rate for the first 40 hours and then the second rate for everything over 40 hours. So our two variables are going to be the regular rate, we'll call that R, and her overtime rate, we'll use T for overtime. So in the first week, she worked 44 hours. So at 44 hours that she worked, that was 40 hours at her regular rate and four hours of overtime rate. So that 40 at regular, 40 times R, and then four at the overtime rate gives us the equation 40R plus 4T, and she was paid $552 for that week. Then two weeks ago, she worked 50 hours. Well, if you work 50 hours, that first 40 is your regular pay. And then that last 10 is at the overtime rate. So we get that 40R again, plus 10 hours at the overtime rate will be 10T. And that week she was paid 
And all of these systems of equations can be solved, and we have several methods for solving, solve by graphing, substitution, elimination, and hopefully that helps you guys at least get through some great examples of setting up system of equation word problems. O-U-T spells 